Hi everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. Well, I will first uh, apologize for the delay in getting this video out. Um, a week ago today, I came down with COVID and quite honestly, it's just been a very miserable week. We got nothing done, uh, completely sapped all my energy. And uh, so anyway, Hope you can stay safe and not uh, not get caught up with this stupid thing. We're on the mend though, so anyway, I want to introduce this particular video on building the San Marcos stand-up paddle board. And this time we're gonna concentrate on putting the rails on. Um, this I feel like is, a, is an important step in this process and um, happy to do some detail on it simply because I don't find a lot of other information out there about this. I can imagine that this is a very similar process for the other Jarvis boards that are out there. So if you aren't uh, building the San Marcos um, or building one of the other ones, I, I expect that some of these ideas will just transfer. But anyway, we're glad you're here. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, if you would consider subscribing, that would allow you to click the little bell down below, which will get you updates when future videos come out. So let's jump in and see how we can get the rails put on here. Okay, so I'm starting to put the side rail on. And while the camera was dead, I snapped off this little piece on the back. I hot glued it and got it back on there. And then I took some tight bond and glued it down. And so this has just been loose like that one is. And I am going to butt block these rails once I get them on here. Because I want to make sure they're going to glue together right. So I'm just using whatever I can to kind of try to hold them on there. I've got another little bungee cord here that we'll use and put on that other side. So uh, we got everything else glued down and I'm real happy with it. It just looks great. We've got a really nice straight line going down the center. And uh, won't be long and we'll be able to start putting some strips on. I've had some question about these middle pieces and how they go on. And, and it seems like a fairly flat edge on this side. This has got a dip in it here, which I still don't completely understand. Um, But this part seems to be the flatter part. This hole here will only go on back here to mate up with that other one. So that doesn't confuse me too much. It's going to kind of test fit it. They feel flush under, I guess the dip is under here, but that comes up flush to that. I don't know if it's for water runoff, it must be. Try the other side, maybe you can see better. Again, see here's this, this dip in this thing right there.
This cannot go this way because it would overlap this too much. So it has to go this way. But there's that dip, and I believe that dip goes on the bottom. So that's the rest of it. I have this nice part facing out on this side, but it appears it's going to have to go in like that. It is somewhat comforting to see how nicely those just snap right on there because that tells me that the, the jig, the, the rest of it is really pretty straight. Yeah, that appears to be matching up with the underside of this under here, just by feel. It's just the way it's designed. I've got this kind of plastic stuff I got from a packing company a long time ago. I was hoping my mom moved some stuff. It's called flat twine. And it's not really sticky. It's, it's kind of like saran wrap, but it's not sticky. So I'm just peeling off pieces of this to tie this together. Just take my tight bond, I'm using tight bond three. I'm just putting a little bit on my fingers and running it on these joints like that. And then just kind of cram it into the where the little notches stick out. Tab sticking out of here. Just take a little bit. Just kind of cram it in there around that. And run a little, little bit down in the inside of there. Oh, my kindergarten teacher would be so proud. <laughs> Chuck, what are you doing? You're getting glue all over yourself. No, I, I don't need any help. Clearly you could do this with the hot glue too, but I want this because it's waterproof stuff. By the time we've got fiberglass and epoxy and everything all on the outside of this, I don't think it matter one way or the other, but this stuff's wonderful. <laughs> it was outside earlier when I first came back up here. We had two cords of wood delivered today. Toby, my eight month, nine month old golden retriever, he was inside, so he wasn't here when it got delivered. So he came back up here with me and uh, he saw that wood pile and he just lost it. He was yipping and barking at it, like what is that and what is it doing here? Pretty funny. The other day he was barking at an airplane, weren't you? going to save me from the evil airplane, the evil wood pile. This is just about the most therapeutic thing I've done all week. It's mindless and it's not. And one of the wonderful things about doing this kind of work, boat building, is It looks completely different than it did yesterday. And you can step back from it and look at it, see what you've accomplished. There's a great sense of satisfaction in that. Okay, this is the front one. 
or I guess the back, I, this, this is the back. <clears throat> this has got a bit of a curve going down like that, which would correspond with this coming down. So I'm pretty well convinced that it goes on like this. We'll test fit it and see. I am perplexed about the, how this flares out. Why, I don't really know. Quite honestly, when you put your end pieces on, I think a lot of this gets cut off anyway. <clears throat> Maybe it's just so that you can, you know, run something around it to hold it while it's up here. So let's see if our see if I'm right with my thinking. Looks like that's going to be right. You get into these bends and it doesn't want to stay here. I got a little clamp here. I took the little rubber pieces off of there. I think I can grab onto that and just hold that right there. Yeah, I believe that's right. Feels flush on both edges. The Jarvis board website, it doesn't really show, they've got some videos which are helpful, but it doesn't really show putting these rails on. This was one of the most perplexing things I I noticed when I was un unboxing everything and taking the pieces out and looking at them, just uh, kind of confusing. So, so this is the last one. Obviously that goes that way. And I believe it goes like that. Because I can see this coming down. No, no, I do not want to play with you right now. This is what I'm talking about, about these stick out past this one. That has been confusing from the very start. We'll just take some of that saran wrap, whatever it is, and tie that around there. I feel fairly certain some of this is just going to get cut off when we get done at the end. Okay, just so we get a close-up look at these, See that little flare in the end? There's different ways to tell that you're getting it on there. Pretty much it just goes one way and you just gotta think about it and play with a little bit. We'll have to glue those together. I'm just gonna pull a little block on the inside of that to glue that together. Similarly, same thing down here. Well, that's cool. One final important note on these rails. I glued these up with little pieces on the insides, but not on the outsides. We're going to have to build these rails up, and I know on the Jarvis Boards website, he shows got little pieces, you know, plywood or whatever to glue these on both sides. 
but I just didn't feel that it was necessary. The other thing I'm glad I did is I'm glad that I glued these rails together, these three pieces, once it was going on to the actual uh, frames. And part of the reason for that is that um, I was worried that if I butt jointed those exactly tight together that they might not flow with the fare of this. Um, in other words, where this is here, it almost you can almost see more of a gap down there at the bottom than the top. I can almost stick my fingernail in there where I can't there. It looks very fair the way I did it, but had I glued those together before, I may have run into a problem with getting these to attach to the to the cross pieces. So that may be different than than other people might do it, but it certainly worked for me. So um, the rest of this that's been perplexing is once we get the skins on or the planking, then we will be building these sides up with solid material. So at that point, we'll have to trim off all the little tabs that are sticking out, but you know, those are what we use to glue it up. So uh, for now, that's good. And I'm getting ready to think about doing some of the stripping or putting the skin on, if you will. If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.